Now we're going to look at uh, an alternative way of measuring something. Um, for example, uh, here you are making uh, five batches of peanut butter chocolate chip cookies and the recipe for a single batch calls for three quarters cup of peanut butter. Since it is a lot easier to put all the peanut butter in at once rather than measure by the cup, you're going to use your old pound scale to measure the peanut butter to be added. Um, so to the nearest tenth of a pound, how much peanut butter should be added? Well, first of all, if you look at this, you're making five batches, and a single batch calls for three quarters of a cup of peanut butter. So we can just, before we even kind of worry about how many pounds it's going to be, we want to know that if you're going to make, if you're going to uh, take three quarters of a cup per batch, three quarters of a cup per batch, you're going to multiply that by five batches, right? So you've got to, you've got to do that multiplic multiplication first. So that's going to give us three quarters times five, which you can just do three times five is 15 over four, and it's going to be 15 fourths cups. Now, if you want to change that to a decimal, that's fine. That's 3.75 cups. Now, what they want us to do is they want us to use, you see, instead of putting it into a cup measure and then, you know, having to clean it out with a spatula and then putting more peanut butter in over and over again, and then you'd have three quarters of a cup, you, uh, 0.75, you'd have to, you know, use a smaller, maybe a quarter cup and do three little of those. So it's kind of a pain to do that. If you can measure it all at once real quickly into one um, container and use your pound scale to measure it, and use a pound scale to measure that peanut butter, all we need to do is find out how many pounds is three and three quarters cups, or 3.75 cups. So let's take a look at this nutritional fact. It this is cups is a volume measure, right? This is volume. And we want to measure it in pounds, which is um, a, a weight. And so 33 grams is, is really a mass, but we have a conversion from grams to ounces and ounces to pounds. So this volume of two tablespoons to 33 grams is going to help us. This is how you change tablespoons, a volume measure, into 33 grams, a measure of mass, which we can then change to pounds. So uh, let's take 3.75 cups, and if we can change that and find out how many tablespoons that is, so we do that conversion by putting cups in the denominator and tablespoons in the numerator. And uh, this is something you could have on a piece of paper ready for you. You can look it up too. There's 16 tablespoons in a cup. I mean, you can go online and Google how many tablespoons are in a cup. So there's 16 tablespoons in one cup. So let's convert this first. So our cups will reduce and we get 3.75 times 16. And that is 60 tablespoons. Well, uh, that's going to be pretty, that's how many tablespoons we need total. So now if 60 tablespoons, oops, 60 tablespoons, if we want to convert that, we want to find how many pounds that is, we can convert that. The only information I see here is that two tablespoons of this peanut butter that we're going to use, this would be the label on the back of the jar we might use, two of those tablespoons, so we want to go from tablespoons to grams. Okay, and it says two tablespoons is equivalent to 33 grams. So that'll get rid of tablespoons and get us grams. And then we're going to have to change grams. Now, uh, one common measurement is we can change grams to ounces, and then we can change ounces to pounds, and then we've got it. So we just know how many, need to know how many grams are in an ounce. And the same thing, you can go and look up how many grams are in an ounce. And there's about 28.35 grams in one ounce. And I hope you know, but you can look it up if you don't, there's 16 ounces in one pound. So uh, 60 will put us 60 over 1. So we multiply all these numerators. If you wanted, you could do some reducing. You don't have to do this, but 
Notice the 2 and the 60 could reduce down to 30 and 1, and then you don't have to have the extra 2 there. But um, I'll go ahead and multiply all these. 60 times 33, of course, times 1 times 1. That's just going to be... Okay, this is 1980. And then in the denominator, we're going to get 2 times 28.35 times 16. And that is 907.2. And notice the tablespoons will reduce, the grams will reduce, the ounces will reduce, and this will be the number of pounds we have. So we just have to take that 1980 and divide it by that answer, the 907. And that is 2.18. And now, you know, if we're just measuring this on a scale that we can put on the counter, we don't need it to be that accurate. This accurate. This says to there's tenth of a pound, so that's going to be this is in pounds, approximately 2.2 pounds, right? The eight will bump the one up to one. 2.2 pounds, okay, of peanut butter, and then you can just measure it all one all at once into the container when you zero out the scale. It's very nice to measure by weight uh, for that. Okay, hope this helps.